Hello guys, so the newest Laravel 11 introduced three new make commands and let's test them, try it out in this video. And quick interruption from future Pavelas, after editing this video I realized there's actually the fourth command that I forgot which is make trade. So I'm gonna add that as well at the end of the video, still trying to shoot videos and parts even with the flu so I apologize for my voice in this video. Now back to the main topic. The first one is make enum and by the way you were able to generate those classes those files without those commands with your ide like php storm it's just that laravel 11 makes it more convenient inside the framework itself so make enum if we launch that the framework will ask what would be the name of the enum and let's call it roles enum for roles like admin would be one user will be two and stuff like that kind of a silly simple example like this and then we choose the type of enum for example string and then it is generated so we have a new file app role enum and then here you would be able to provide all the values of your enum. Also, if we take a look at the source of that command, it checks for the folder as well. So if you have enums folder in your project, it will generate the file inside that. So here I have a folder created app enums. And now if we make enum, for example, colors enum, totally random example. And also we may provide as an option string to avoid unnecessary questions. And then we have app enums colors enum generated here. The next artisan command is make class. Basically create whatever class you want. I suppose the most common use case would be service classes. So there is no make service in Laravel. So for example, let's create role service or let's actually put that in services folder by default like this so it would generate a file app services role service and if we open that up it's just a php class with a correct namespace and with constructor you may also provide an option to make it invocable class which would generate invoke method instead of constructor and by the way you may check those stubs inside of the framework and i will link that in the description below for example if we go to class stub it's this one with just namespace and class generated but if we go to class invocable it has additionally invoke method and then the final command i wanted to talk about is make interface without any options or flags you just provide the name of the interface let's try any random interface with that suffix of interface and it is generated directly in the app folder so if you want to have that inside of interfaces for example that would be the correct way of launching that command and if you open that up all it does it generates empty interface nothing really fancy but maybe more convenient than working with your ide if you're already in the terminal and the final new artisan command in this video this is again future pavilas who remembered there's the fourth one make trade so for example you do make trade has tags for example to be reused in multiple files and by default it generates a file in the app folder but you can do something like trades or subfolders trades hashtags so it generates this file almost empty but with trade and correct namespace and then you can use it for example you can open your user model and add has tags here with autocomplete by your php store so yeah three new make commands would you use them in your daily practice or is there any make command still missing in your opinion let's discuss in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to get more news about Laravel 11 and upcoming later versions. And see you guys in other videos.